most times will come to the church. We start our church 10 o'clock. Most of us are late. But when you come, Auntie Elizabeth and the husband would have come and set the podium and clean out the place. We worship at the school. And they will clean the classroom or the library, wherever we, we if it's the sanctuary, there was a there was a party overnight, they will come and clean, they will set up the speakers, they will do it all. And above all, the Friday or the Thursday before that, she would have cooked so that everybody who came to our church would eat something in the afternoon. She did this all the time. Even when she was sick. I mean, there are these people that when you are in a group with, they think the group is theirs. If they don't do something different, the group is going down. And she made sure she contributed each week and each week. And it was only maybe six weeks or eight weeks before we said, Aunt Elizabeth, it's enough. Rest. Now, we have a few ladies in the church who can take over this job too. But even that, she didn't listen. She will always make sure that people are fed. The young people in the church, we have some school students. Sometimes she will pack a meal for them so that when they go to the account, they have something along the way to eat. And she did this week after eat. And then there was something else. Since we are a small group, we don't have a choir. We try to make singing groups. You know the life in America. We can't get together to practice. But every Sabbath that we went to church, this woman was ready to sing the special song for the service to go on. She sang her song of praise every day, every Sabbath. And we have a custom where uh, we, we give thanks to the Lord in the course of the service. And most of the time, when, he, when she raises her hands up to say something, she will just say something, praising God, and then will just sit down. The impact that Aunt Elizabeth had on this church, we don't know who in the church can be placed. And I know all my church members are here. And they are here with me. We only will invite God to fill that void for us. Because we know we have lost a lot. But we have hope. Because we said the living God. And we know that on that resurrection morning, for the deeds that He has done for God's work to go on, the Lord will resurrect us among the saints. Amen.
very much for your, your chorus songs. Just saying, she's happy there, Wes, and it's gone. One day, all of us will go to. Amen. Amen. I'll call on the sister to watch it. She tells us something about our sister. She is the head of the women's ministry in the uh, Ghana church. Amen. I'm sure you've all heard all the beautiful and wonderful things that uh, Chris Olga said about our own sister, mother, and Auntie Elizabeth. She was the women's ministry leader for a very long time. And just this past year, I took over. She led such a wonderful life, and we really, really miss her. But we also know she was the kind of person, and that's why we're all in black and white, because that's how she led women. She was a joyful person, she was always happy, and she always reminds me of uh, Paul, because it seems like she, had, she led her life as she had fought the good fight because I remember the last few conversations she had with us, we were sitting as a small group, and I don't know what I should say, but I think it goes to show the kind of person she was. We were all talking, and I remember her talk, turning to her husband and said, I know I've been a good wife to you, and that even should I die, you should marry somebody the boy that I really care. And it was the kind of person she was. She was a very happy person. She was a wonderful person. And she always stepped in when you were in trouble. I remember um, the very last time we had um, the Women's Day. We had our very first Women's Day. And we had the last minute drop out. The point is because we didn't have a play. She had never practiced with a play. We came and said, what part do you want to play? And I said, this, you're missing this person. And it was the part of um, the priest Eli. And she just got up and she said, I'll do it. She put on those touches and she played it to the best ability she could. As I, I see if she I roll these chairs out here, Pastor, as my ticket. If I roll these I chairs out here, you want to pass? Yeah. That Is that okay? Look yeah. up to. She always had a good advice for everybody. She never took life seriously because she knew who she had believed in. And we will always look up to her. And we will really do her. At the same time, we do know that she continues to live with her daughters. And she has continued to put that through in them as well. And in all of us. Amen. Thank you so much. Ahead. I saw something in the woman's face when she, she said what she had told her. Did you know